All right, I want to demonstrate the uh, wait for window functionality. And this is, is actually tied to this. Um, if we go in here and say, we want to wait for notepad, let me highlight this, I'm gonna hit F4, which is that hotkey there. Um, come over here, hit F4 again, notice this is notepad, but I can either manually adjust this, right, or I must say use after last that. So now it's just gonna look for notepad. Um, this would find it, you know, if it exists, the thing is that if it exists anywhere, even if it's minimized, it doesn't check if the window's visible, just if the window, um, if the window exists. And maybe we'll change it to have another functionality say, hey, let's see if it's visible, because usually when we're clicking something, we, it needs to be visible. Uh, I think actually though with a control click, you don't have to have it visible, but let's uh, go ahead and get our next step. It'll be F1. We're gonna click the file. Move away. Um, let's first display matches. Great, test it, moves there. Great, that looks like a little high, but it should be fine. Um, now what we want to do is come back to our wait for window and here we might want to add this this is per second by the way um, let's make it uh eight seconds and so now if i close this and test it notice it doesn't error right away and i can launch this and the second it shows up it should go over oh i'm not sure what happened there let's go back let's do a here move mouse oh, come on it is move mouse, that's interesting, it didn't find it. Let's do a test again, finds it right away. I wonder if it's something with the cursor. Let's let's lock this area down a little here. What? Lock it down. Again, do a test, great. Great, display matches and tests work great. Let's uh, go ahead and close this and test it. Now we're gonna wait for it, I'm gonna load it. Oh, and my mouse is already there, like it was that fast. I did, when I was doing some experimenting with this, um, it was uh, when I was clicking, let me do a left click. You'll see here when I test it, um, notice it, it that blinks, right? It's clicking it, but it, it's doing it so fast inside the tool that it doesn't even display it. Um, and I thought, hey, this is bad. Maybe we need to have to slow it down. Uh, and then I just happened to say, let me export it and let me run it outside of this tool. And so again, the whole po point of this tool isn't to run it inside the tool, right? It's to generate some auto hockey um, syntax. So now again, I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna launch this one. Um, I'm gonna hit my hotkey, so it's gonna start running. It's gonna wait for eight seconds, but I'm gonna open this. And I would have thought it would have clicked it right away. I, what I should do is add a message box, just so I know when I get to there, right? So first off I do, oh, interesting. Now we're seeing the same, same issue I was having before. Um, it is up there, it's clicking. Let's, maybe we should try adjusting the, oh, hey, the offset. Offset Y, 10. Let's try that as a five. Nope. Is it doing, oh, you know what? And let's change it to an actual click instead of um, a control click. That one seemed to be a little better. Let's do both of these at five. Now there, we saw it for, it's like something's activating it again, um, which is interesting, like it's clicking it again. And I think my message box, yeah, it's behind this window here. So we're getting to it. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe that is throwing it. Let me reload it. Nope. Nope. Oh, well, because there's a message box. I didn't get rid of the message box. I'm an idiot. I didn't save, reload. Save, reload, run. There we go. So, sorry, the message box hidden behind um, my tool, because this is set to always be on top, because you just really want to always have it visible. Um, it was displaying right behind this, and I didn't see the fact that that got activated this no longer was activated. So that's what was going on. Um, but again, this is not, um, it doesn't test whether, oh, you know what, I shouldn't have done that. Let me do this and let me minimize it. So notepad is still running. If I had my system tray, um, eh, let me see if I can move. Move the wrong thing. There we go, we can see the notepad still running here. Um, when I run it, it, um, it was unable to find it, and that's because 
So this message box here came up, right? Because it existed, so it got past that first wait for window, yet it didn't wait to see it visible. So maybe we'll have a checkbox or radio box to say wait for it to exist versus wait for it to be visible. Um, let me, s uh, I don't think it really matters, but let me, I was gonna say was let's change this to, um, let's change this back to being blank. Let's see if it runs fine with, um, Yeah, let's put this back to a one and see if that actually changed it. Oh, okay, so it doesn't like to control click. Um, and I've even had it where sometimes control click works and sometimes it doesn't, it's very odd. It's not nearly as reliable as the actual click, but of course we don't want to necessarily interrupt our mouse and where we're sending it. But uh, hopefully you get the idea of this wait for window and what it does and you can readjust it and um, build in wait times. Um, let's set it to, not count um the weight oh here when weight zero I, I i don't let's test this close that oh no so that didn't work at all it really literally sets it to zero so if you want a big number you put in a big number right and then it'll just keep waiting for it uh and where did my shortcut to notepad go oh i don't know but let's go ahead and uh We'll launch it. Here it is. And now there it is. The second it shows up, bam, nails it. So hope that helps. Cheers.